What's up guys, welcome back to McLaren Media. You join me in my track project Fiesta, um, real budget build this. Um, in today's video, there's gonna be a lot going on. So I'm gonna be repairing the alternator, something I have already done on the channel. So um, if you're unsure about what's going on with that, follow along. Removing the dashboard is not gonna be a big guide, but you can obviously get some tips and tricks on how it sort of comes out and just some more weight reductions and general sort of putting things in the car um so yeah that's all going to be in this video um i hope you find it really exciting because i am i'm i'm really <laughs> stoked to get this car running and take it to the track it's going to be hilarious having a diesel on track um like i said though proper budget build this like zero budget i'm basically using stuff i've already got at home and maybe the odd thing just to make it a bit more sporty but apart from that yeah so yeah let's get on with the video guys let's uh do some more weight reduction fix the car get it running and yeah let's let's jump in so i removed the car's bumper and inner crash can i already have videos on my channel on how to do this this is so i could remove the ac and also repair the alternator I then decided to replace the air foot with an induction kit. I then removed the heat shield and the turbo because who needs safety? Next, I needed to remove the dashboard to remove some more weight. As you can see, it's the selection of nuts and bolts around the dashboard. There is a small 10mm uh, bolt behind the gauge cluster. We could then remove the dashboard and then I could remove the passenger airbag. This is the dashboard underneath. I taped off any loose wires and removed some more carpet. We then replaced the dash and reattached everything. Next, I removed the rear window wiper. Then I started work on the faulty alternator wiring. So guys, there's a couple of reasons why I'm doing this. One, these couplers um, are not waterproof. Water can get in the end there. I, I feel like they're amplifier cables. They probably shouldn't be used externally. They probably fixed the problem for a while, which I think the previous owner said that it did, but the problem is still there and it's the same problem I was having with my car. The other issue we might have found, there's a severe oil leak on this side of the engine. 
the alternator could have been, um, you know, it's covered in oil. It could, it could have actually broken down inside. We don't know, but I've got a spare alternator. But for the time being, this wire in here needs to be sorted out because it's not, it's not safe. I think it's rusting on the inside, so that's probably why it's not doing it. So yeah, I've been learning how to solder, and now I'm going to give it a proper go on the car. So yeah, uh, fingers crossed, and um, let's see what we can do. Right guys, so that's one wire done. Um, that's my real, my first real go at doing like soldering on the actual loom. Um, I'm confident it doesn't, I, you know, it's strong um, and it's all connected up. So I'm confident that will be better than these. Um, so now I'm going to do the other two and we'll check back in a minute. Right guys, so as you can see there, I've, I've finished the wiring, not too bad. Um, next couple of jobs, alternator needs to go back on. I'm not sure whether I'm going to put the alternator that come off this car back on or try my other one that I knew was working. So I, like I said, I don't know whether it was the wiring or the humongous oil leak that sort of wrecked the alternator. Next few jobs though, so, uh, catalytic converter needs to come off and all that and then just start rebuilding the car. Um, I'm going to do an oil change at some point as well. But yeah, that's where we're at. Um, yeah, let's get on with putting some stuff back and see if we can get this exhaust off. I removed the catalytic converter because if you know me, you know my opinions on this. This is because I'm later going to be adding a straight pipe. I was then able to replace the alternator. I made sure all the wiring was tidy. And, well, the exhaust is off, so it would be rude not to have a little start up, wouldn't it? Next I decide to clean up the boost hoses and replace all the Jubilee clips. Next I could finally replace the fan shroud. I am still waiting on an exhaust but it shouldn't be taking too much longer. I can replace this and um, I can refit this sorry with, with everything back in place. This build is zero budget so I wanted a gauge panel in the middle that was cost effective. So I cut up an old exhaust and made a panel for the dash. I measured it up and I'm going to use pre-existing bolt holes to hold it in so I don't have to ruin the dashboard. I drilled out the holes and smoothed off the edges of the panel. As you can see I have new bolts and it holds it in place really nicely.
So there we go guys, that is um, a lot in one video of me doing some stuff to this Fiesta. I hope you've enjoyed the content, um, lots more to come on this Fiesta. I've still got to fix the exhaust, uh, get some tyres, do the brakes. Um, I want to put a bucket seat with some harnesses in, um, just to make it nice and, you know, just easier on track, especially since I've stripped it all out. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I hope you enjoyed the budget quality content of what I'm actually putting in. Um, like I said, you could probably do this on a, quite a low budget like I am, but yeah, that's just half the fun. That's the whole point of it. I just want to have a laugh of it really. Um, and if you're not having a laugh, there's no point in doing it, is there? So yeah, guys, hope you've enjoyed the content. Please, please, I beg you subscribe to the channel. We are so close to a thousand. I want to thank everyone for the continued support they're giving to the channel. I'm so stoked for that thousand subscribers. It's been a long way off and we're almost there. So guys, please subscribe, share the video, like all the content, helps the algorithm, all that sort of stuff. And uh, Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.